Did you ever think such a day would come? Could you imagine in your worst nightmares that the President of the United States would rationalize and legitimize Nazis, anti-Semites, and racists? That he would see fine people among those who marched in Charlottesville under torchlights and swastikas while shouting slogans against the Jews in America in 2017? The writing was on the wall, of course, but most people preferred to look away. Trump flirted with David Duke from the outset, adopted slogans such as America First, used anti-Semitic images like the one with Hillary Clinton and the dollar signs and the Star of David. He refused to mention Jews on Holocaust Remembrance Day and then refused to apologize for it. So should we have really been so surprised when Trump drew moral equivalence between America's founding fathers and his champions of slavery? Should we be so shocked when he compares the neo-Nazi killer of 32-year-old Heather Hare to protesters that Trump derides as alt-left? Isn't this the very same offensive man that America knew when it voted him into office? I don't know whether this is the beginning of the end of the Trump presidency, but it certainly draws a line in the sand between before and after. Before, one could claim that Trump was being misunderstood, that he'll do the right thing in the end, as long as he does it in his own way. Now, after he said what he said, there's nowhere left to hide. He is what he is. He revealed his dark heart for all America to see, and now we can never look away. Patriots who serve in the administration will have to examine their consciences once again. But what about all the dear Jews who supported Trump, from Sheldon Adelson to Benjamin Netanyahu? You turned a blind eye to all the warning signs. You backed Trump because you hated Obama or despised political correctness, or were afraid of the militant left, or were terrified of Black Lives Matter, or thought that Trump was better for Israel or would be tougher on Iran. Can you still support a president who stands by those who spit on the graves of your forefathers? Those who portray you as evil bloodsuckers? Those who want to finish what Adolf Hitler started? Seriously? Can you stay quiet or even sympathize with a president who sides with neo-Nazis, as some in the Israeli right shamefully have, even today? At long last, ladies and gentlemen, have you left no sense of decency?